Hi everyone, it's Tuesday. It's November 26th, 2019, and I hope everyone is having a beautiful day in the Lord. <clears throat> well, I wasn't planning on coming on here, but the Lord spoke to me again as he did last night. And I believe this is another warning. Um, he gave me the name Agrippa to look up. And when I read uh, through this, I could see that it's another warning from him. Um, similarly to last night's Strange Fire. So I'm going to read to you what he gave me. Okay. Uh, the New Testament mentions several different Herods, from Matthew 1 to Acts 26. Herod Agrippa, which is what the Lord spoke to me, Agrippa, um, is the first, is one of the Roman appointed rulers in Israel from the Herod dynasty. Herod the Great was, quote, the king of the Jews, unquote at Jesus' birth and tried to have him killed, as you could read in Matthew chapter 2. Herod Ant Antipas was king during the ministries of John the Baptist and Jesus. Antipas had John executed, as you could read in Mark 6, and later declined to pass judgment on Jesus, sending him back to Pilate as you could read in Luke 23, 7 to 12. In Acts 4, 27, Herod Antipas, simply called Herod, is mentioned as one of those guilty of the crucifixion of Jesus. Acts 12 speaks of Herod as a persecutor of the apostles, but this is a different Herod, Herod Agrippa I. Herod Antipas was a ruler in Galilee, but Herod Agrippa I, leading the persecution in Acts, is, the ruling, is ruling as king in Jerusalem. Luke, the writer of Acts, did not see the need to explain who the Herods were, as that would have been common knowledge to his readers. Also, Herod was a family name most synonymous with, quote, ruler, unquote. So it could be used in much the same way that today a writer might speak of, quote, unquote, the president, or, quote, unquote, the sheriff, without stopping to explain each time that he might be speaking of a different person that was occupying the office. Herod Agrippa I was the king of Judea from A.D. 41 to 44. He was a grandson of Herod the Great and a nephew of Herod Antipas. A series of prefects of which Pilate was one and had governed Judea as a Roman province for over 30 years. Rome placed Agrippa I on the throne as a client king for about three years. Agrippa had spent time in Rome where he developed a friendship with the emperor Tiberius and the future emperors Caligula and Claudius. These friendships helped him secure his ruling position. After Agrippa's death, he was replaced with a Roman uh, procurator. As a client of Rome, the king of Judea's job was primarily to keep the peace. Herod Agrippa I knew that if anything was troubling the Jewish population, appeasing them was his best interest. Apparently, keeping the peace was Agrippa's reason for persecuting the church. Acts 12, verses 1 to 3, reports, Quotes, King Herod arrested some who belonged to the church, intending to persecute them. 
he had James, the brother of John, put to death with the sword. When he saw that this met with approval among the Jews, he proceeded to seize Peter also. Luke specifically attributes Peter's arrest to the fact that it pleased the Jews. Peter did not die at Herod Agrippa's hands, but was miraculously rescued from prison, as you could read in Acts 12, 5 to 17. When it was discovered that Peter had escaped, quotes, there was no small commotion among the soldiers, unquote, verse 18. Herod Agrippa was frustrated, quote, unquote, after Herod had a thorough search made for him and did not find him, he cross-examined the guards and ordered that they may be executed. Then Herod went from Judea to Caesarea uh, and stayed there, unquote, verse 18 and 19. It was in Caesarea that Herod Agrippa I, the first, met his demise. Agrippa had been quarreling with the people of Tyre and Sidon. They now joined together and sought an audience with him. After securing the support of Blastus, a trusted personal servant of the king, they asked for peace because they depended on the king's country for their food supply. On the appointed day, Herod wearing his royal robes, sat on his throne and delivered a public address to the people. They shouted, quotes, This is the voice of a God, not a man, unquote, immediately, because Herod did not give praise to God. An angel of the Lord struck him down, and he was eaten by worms and died. And you could read that in Acts 12, 20-23. From the information that Luke gives, one might expect that Agrippa was suddenly overpowered by worms that consumed him in a matter of seconds. And one can envision how this might be portrayed gruesomely in a Hollywood movie. But Luke does not say that Herod died immediately, only that he was struck down immediately. According to Johephus, Josephus, Herod Agrippa I was immediately incapacitated by a severe pain in his stomach. The pain lingered for five days before he died. The book of Acts tells us that the cause of death was worms, parasites, probably and directly from the hands of God. The fate of Herod Agrippa I is a graphic reminder that it does not pay to fight against God. While Herod the king is writhing on a bed of pain with worms in his gut, Peter the apostle is free to spread the gospel and serve the Lord. Herod died, but the word of God continued to spread and flourish in Acts 12:24. Now the Lord wants me to title this Death by Worms, okay? And this is another indication of disobedience to God, as was in Strange Fire, where he struck them with fire and burnt them to a crisp. Here it is, he sent worms into his gut and they ate him like a kid sucking up the last drops of soda through a straw. Okay? The Lord is very, very angry with the church people, especially those who are leading the flock in the once saved, always saved community. I beg you people to turn from this false, corrupt doctrine. Come away from it now. Come out of her. The law was never done away with people. Jesus fulfilled the law. He was a perfect lamb to make a way for us to be saved. The law doesn't save. 
it shows us how to be obedient and how our Heavenly Father wants us to live and become holy like His Son. Please take this message to heart. As always, I want to remind you that I love you and Jesus loves you. Never forget how much Jesus loves you. The Father has been going out of His way to give me these lessons. I knew nothing of Agrippa before this video. I knew nothing of Strange Fire before last night. Okay? He is speaking. He is angry. And he is warning the church. I want to bless you in Jesus' holy, holy name. Shalom.